believe in ourselves and listen to that intuition, that instinct and start to develop that relationship and rapport with our own subconscious mind and higher conscious mind. Mm -hmm. So that's if we're not listening to the body, then the, it's like a child. A child loses uh, faith and trust in the parent because the parent's not a benevolent, benevolent <laughs> parent. <laughs> Um, so, because the parents often too critical on the child. So when our subconscious has been reaching out for our love and our acceptance, it feels slammed or ignored or, you know, so the prime directive of the subconscious mind is to preserve our life. So when the things that were out of balance or swept under the carpet because we didn't have the resources at the time to process them and release them. So we collect all that information mm -hmm. and then we've got to assimilate it and then we've got to eliminate it. And if that collection, assimilation um, gets stuck, then we, you know, we, we hold all this information without knowing how to let it go, how to process it through and let it go. So that can cause a disharmony in our system. Yeah. So we're, you know, we're, we're endeavouring to find ways of being able to process things and, and to encourage the mind just to let go, to empty out, because it's the mind that tends to get wrapped around things mm -hmm. and then start to tell us what to do and, mm -hmm. and then we get into the anxiety and the panic or the driven, you know, get so driven that we override ourselves. So we're just starting to get back to basics now and, and it's a lovely time in our life that we're really kind of following the necessity. I had a client too. Is, is your um, brother-in-law still alive? No. No. He did euthanasia. Oh, he did. Wow. Yeah, you know, all his, his business was taken over, everything was clean and done. Yeah. And his bookkeeping was done, the wife knew exactly how to manage the finances and uh, what am I going to do here? Yeah, okay. Uh, he's yeah. ready to go. There's a DVD so. out called Healing and one of the things in this DVD is that um, one of the researchers had travelled around the world and interviewed people that had gone into spontaneous remission. And they, they made the top 10 list of what was common out of spontaneous remission. It's a great thing to do for your oh, PhD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really yeah, interesting, um, you know, statistics. Yeah. And only three in the top 10 were dietary related. Mm -hmm. 